Hello, everyone. This is David Solomon, and welcome to CoBuzz Live. We haven't done many of these lately, but uh, we've got a really cool one today. And uh, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a little, a few more people come uh, coming along. We're we're doing this on probably uh, eight different platforms, so you really can't see the other people on the other platforms. But there's you know a bunch of other people there besides you too. So welcome and thank you for joining us. We've got a really cool show today uh, with, and we're going to be talking about the uh, headphone the, the headphone shootout coming coming up in New York on November twelfth. Uh, with uh, and Robert Zahn is is with us. Said we've got a real treat coming up. This is the first one of these they've done. They've been doing um, um, video shootouts for a long time, but this is the first headphone uh, shootout. So we'll talk a little about that when uh, when we ask Robert to come along. Um, and before that, we're going to talk a little bit about CoBuzz because it's been it's been a while since we've been able to do it. And there's actually been a lot of changes. Uh, so let's kind of get into that for a second. Welcome to CoBuzz. Hopefully you're a member. Uh, if not, join us. Uh, right before the uh, show, I made a few changes to the slides because we keep growing. Uh, we're now in 26, 24 countries. Uh you know, when we started, folks, we were only in, when was that, 2018, we were in like five or six. So, I mean, the company is really, really doing great. And it's, it's because of a bunch of music lovers. How do you like our new logo? That's uh, that's it without the Q. We'll still be using the Q in some ways, but right now this is the new logo. But if you've not uh, seen the first little line there, we're now over 90 million tracks and soon to be a hundred million tracks. This is this is incredible. We were, I think, I can't remember what we were when we first started, but I think it's like thirty or forty million, which is a lot of music. But you know, you'd still find you know all kinds of holes in the library. There are so few holes these days. It's it's incredible. However, if you do um, run into uh, uh, music that you love. We've got a form you can you can write me uh, on on this Facebook channel or on the YouTube channel, and I'll provide you with a link that'll uh, allow you to request music that we may not have. It's getting like I say, it's getting a lot harder to find these days. But uh, we are we have uh, started being known as the streaming service of choice from uh, the experts, and we're certainly happy to. Uh, to have all of our partners talking about us as much as we talk about them. We'll be doing a show really soon in DC and almost all the rooms are going to be using CoBuzz, which I'm very proud of because four years ago, nobody even knew what CoBuzz was. So next thing up on CoBuzz is our artist support. We've got a download store and people, someone asked me the other day, well, you know, why would I, why would I buy a download? You know, I'm already listening to all of this stuff for practically free. Um, why would I ever want to download it? Well, there's, there's lots of reasons to download. One of it is my favorite reason, which is artist support. Artists get paid um, on scale when you download. So it's like if you bought a CD, that's the kind of dollars that they would be making um, as opposed to streaming dollars. This is something that we love to do. I'm so proud of our download store because all streaming companies need to enhance their bottom line in some ways. And most of them, the most of the corporate guys, they 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 uh, um, they subsidize their their service with uh, podcasts and things like that. Which really, a lot of that stuff has nothing to do with music. Everything that Cobuzz does is about music, and that's really the way that we want to keep it. It would be super simple for us to start doing podcasts and advertising on podcasts, but that's not who we are. We're we're all about the music. We'll leave that kind of stuff up to the big corporate guys, and and we're we're just going to stick with music and high res resolution and in full resolution. So we do have a, D, uh, a streaming and download store. I see one that I didn't get to change. It's not 80, it's 90 million tracks now. And these are our plans. So if you're just doing this yourself, you can get in as low as under $11 a month. I think it's like 1083 a month. 
um, if you pay annually and $12.99 if you don't. But this is incredible. If you guys remember what we were when we first started, when we first started, we were like $25. And I thought that was an incredible bargain. I mean, and it really is if you're a, if you're a real listener. But, you know, competition, blah, blah, blah. We're in, and I don't think the competition thought we were going to be able to meet their prices. But we renegotiated and, and we were able to. Uh, so, yeah, you can get in for as low as, as uh 1083 a month. And then if you're a, if you've got a partner that you want to share this with, which is way cool, you guys get in for about 750 a piece, $15 a month. You just have to be at the same roof. And so the same with the family plan. You can have up to six people for $18 a month, which is uh to me just an unbelievable bargain uh getting this kind of uh this kind of collection with this kind of resolution. However, if you're the download, if you're of the download mindset, join the sublime, uh, the sublime side, because you, if you buy one, basically one download a month, you're, you're more than paying for your subscription. Plus you're saving an incredible amount of money on downloads. So why would somebody want to download? They will, a lot of people just like it in their collection. A lot of people want it to, uh, to support their artists. There's there's lots of reasons to, to download. Um, artist support is probably my favorite one, but I know we've got a lot of collectors that like to keep these on their NAS and like to put these files anywhere they would like to put them. That's a great reason to belong to, uh, to uh, the Sublime section. And probably, I think, one of the cooler reasons to join Cobuzz in general is because of our editorial. We have just got some of the best editorial we write it every bit of it we we write uh in-house uh and and we're really really proud of that because you know it's not just about listening to the music for a lot of us it's about knowing who the artist is what they do what they bring to the table so uh if you're a member of cobuzz thank you we certainly appreciate it if you're not a member of cobuzz what are you waiting for this high resolution so what about oh i guess about 80 percent of the the new releases that we get every week and we typically get, you know, 50, 60, hundred new releases. About 80% of those are all in high res. Almost everybody that's mixing these days is mixing in high res. Um, some of you have asked, um, wow, well, what about Dolby? You know, are you guys going to do it? Yeah, we're working on Dolby. Um, so we're hoping that'll be out uh, sometime fairly early next year. We're also working on connect. Uh, don't ever expect us to be the first because we're the smallest, but expect, expect us to be there and always expect the number one, um, the number one goal for Cobuzz is to deliver the very, very best music files we can possibly deliver with no alteration at all. We never touch a file. So with that, I'm going to bring in my new friend, Robert Zahn from Value Electronics. Really cool guy. Hey, Robert, how are you doing? Thank you, David. And thank you for inviting me on your channel today. And I'm so excited to be with you. And I'm especially thankful to be partnering with you as our exclusive streaming music server. So that means a lot to us to get that type of premium and selection of of music so thanks for being our partner oh wow it, it's a it's a pleasure we're we're huge in the um in the um headphone section anyway that yes. the, the, the headphone world anyway um most all of those guys especially the high-end guys all almost all use cobuzz we'll be at uh the dc show um next week next thursday yes and uh well you, there's a big headphone section there all those guys are using it plus there's uh i think there are 80 90 rooms and a good portion of those will be using cobuzz too so thanks uh thanks for using cobuzz and and we love we love this thing we love this thing that you're doing this is uh that, that I think this is something that's needed to happen for a long time. And you have, you've actually got a lot of experience in doing this just from some yeah. other things that you've done. But let's talk about that in just a sec. I want to talk about you for, for just a minute. Thank you. How did you get into this crazy business? 
Well, thank you. Other than it's been a lifetime passion of mine, enjoying the art of music and video and enjoying the science behind it as well. It's been my lifetime passion. I was a television broadcast engineer for most of my adult life before I started Value Electronics, which is now 25 years ago in 1998. I was sort of in the inner circle of the development of the transition from analog TV to digital TV, which was the first venture into HD TV. And when I saw Rec 709 color and 1080p resolution and uh, be bigger contrast ratios, I wanted to bring that premium video and Dolby Atmos audio, because that was the development of Dolby Atmos as well, to the homes to, of the premium luxury buyers. I wanted to bring that type of experience into their home and build big movie theaters with immersive audio. And uh, so I left the TV broadcast industry and started this high-end uh, integration business of audio and video. And we love it every day. We take regular people off the street to come and visit us and we ask them what's their favorite song or their favorite genre or their wedding song. And we put, sit them into a reference critical listening room playing a song that's their favorite song. They can't help themselves. They have to sing. They have to <laughs> tap their feet and dance. And then they go home and they're not happy with the way it sounds at their house anymore. So I'm not such a good capitalist, but I'm a hobbyist and I like to spread my hobby. And they have to come back to upgrade their audio so they can hear every note very clearly. It's easy to turn regular people off the street into audio enthusiasts because everybody loves music. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that well said. And, and, you know, we were talking about this earlier and I'm going, well, you know, what are you carrying? What kind of what kind of gear are you yeah. carrying? I mean, these guys are carrying some amazing stuff. By yes. the way, where are you located? We're in Westchester County, New York, south of New York, north of New York City by about a half an hour. The town is called Scarsdale, and it's a very beautiful community. So if you're in that area, stop by and see Robert and family uh, and, yes. uh, and, and, and check out his store. They've got, uh, let's see, Trinov, yes. Morantz, Denon, yes. Bowers Wilkins, Focal, uh, Definitive Technology, Klipsch, Krell, Dyne Audio, Rel. Yeah. Uh, Golden Ear, JL, SVS. Yes. He's got some really, yes. really cool brands there. Thank so it's you. not like they're going to be walking into a, a Radio Shack when you go visit Robert. <laughs> These guys, when he said they sit, they sit you down in front of some, you know, really reference gear. He's he's uh, he's 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 not kidding you. So yeah. that's really cool. So tell me, Robert. Let's see this 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 headphone shootout. This headphone shootout that you're doing, and we're actually going to go through the headphones that that Robert's going to yes be uh, be uh, using in just a little while. But um, before we do that, let's just talk a little bit about you know, methodology. What what do you, like? How many judges are you going to have? That is it, is it all you, or do you have no, you've got no. multiple judges? So we have right now. We have four professional audio engineers as judges. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so we have some world-class judges. We wanted to have six judges, so we're still looking for two more. If anybody feels like they're interested in that and has the ability to understand audio performance, give us a call. We need two more judges. And so if, you, if, you, if you're chosen to do this, you'll actually uh, uh, spend about a, a good eight, nine hours in a uh, really pretty place in New York, yes. right in the middle of New York. Yes. And uh, it's going to be a really, really fun day. I, Robert's already kind of taken me through what they're going to be doing all day. But if you're one of these enthusiasts that would like to share your that would like to share your experience, they've got a few, you know, absolute pros now. And, you know, yes. get in touch with uh, Robert at Value Electronics and, and, and you guys discuss. I've got a few folks that uh, that that I would like to uh, that I would like to turn you on to that I think would be just wonderful to do something like this. Um, so let's see, let's, let's go ahead and bring this, um, mm -hmm. bring our, this is based, this is Robert's uh, phone number. So if you've got, if you are interested or know somebody that would be really good at this, go ahead and, uh, you know, give him a shout. Looks like we've got a comment from a Facebook user, Oscar Scarsdale. 
Zachary's wine and now another reason to drive up from Philly. There you go. This isn't going to actually be open to the public. So don't don't think that you're going to be, you know, coming up and it's not going to be in Scarsdale anyway. It's going to the actual event is going to be in the middle of New York City. That's so correct. um so don't don't think that you're going to you're going to um you know go up there and and and, and see this stuff. But that sort of is an overview and I think I've got this right. It's changes a good bit because these headphone manufacturers they'll um uh, uh, a headphone will be available one day and then all of a sudden yeah. uh, it's gone and there's a, you know, the next number replaces it. So this is what I've got so far and hopefully okay. it's, it's, it's a good overview of, of yes. what we're, we're doing. Very so we'll be doing good. over the ear uh, headphones and that some of these are Bluetooth. Most of them are Bluetooth or, right. uh, or wired. That's correct. 350 to 400 uh, in ear uh, Bluetooth and I think some of those are wired as well, two yes. to two fifty over ear and Bluetooth for seven to nine hundred in ear uh, Bluetooth. I'd start calling those IEMs at at three to four hundred dollars mm -hmm. uh, over ear at fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars, and possibly the in ear at twelve to seventeen hundred dollars. That one is is still up in the air. But this one may be another category. But these are really, really cool categories with people that are with uh, mm -hmm. uh, with product that, you know, people are just wearing like crazy these days. Yeah. If you get it on an airplane, I am completely blown away at the That's quality right. of headgear that I see on on people these days. I'm probably one of the ones that use some of the cheaper ones. But yeah, yeah it's 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 amazing. The um, uh, the the. Uh, the, the, the quality of headphones people are using these days. So this is going to be really cool before we get into the, uh, before we get into the, um, uh, the methodology and the actual headphones that we're, we're going to be talking about. Let's talk about, you know, you've been doing something like this for a long, long time. Yes. Tell, tell me a little about how you hopped into the headphone side and then what you've actually been doing prior to this, Robert. Right. So I created the oh. annual TV shootout evaluation event. It's literally 20 years ago. We started in 2004. So our 20th year will be coming up uh, this, this coming year. We've completed 19 years annually of doing the TV shootout evaluation event. And um, I like doing it because it's very good to show the public what the differences are in each category of a product that they're interested in. Yeah, especially we, televisions. Who knows? I mean, they're all like, it's got to be very confusing to the general public. So this yeah, sounds well, because like we, we deal with audio and video with TVs, we have all the video attributes of picture quality in addition to the audio attributes. And we review the audio quality from the built-in speakers of televisions, even though most people wouldn't use them. But most of the time on the TV shootout is spent with picture quality. And there's a lot of elements of picture quality with video. And we bring in Hollywood filmmakers from Hollywood. We fly them in, we cover all expenses, and that's our panel of expert judges. And then we bring in video scientists that present on all the elements of picture quality. So we do a very thorough job. It is well respected as the ultimate evaluation event of premium televisions. And we love doing it. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of work, but it's fun for us. You know, when you enjoy your work, it's not like work anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we that's love that's what we do. I and we have been asked <laughs> tens of thousands of times from our loyal followers and clients to please do headphones. And please do projectors and speakers and sound bars. So we started projector shootouts last year. We'll be doing our second annual projector shootout on December 10th and 11th. And um, although this is our first headphone shootout starting very quickly in 10 days, November 12th, uh, it'll, it's only our first one, and we do we are planning it every year. And as you as you said in the opening. Uh, headphones change rapidly, so we'll have new models for next year, and boy, the new ones this year look and sound and feel fantastic. 
headphones it's, are taking leaps and bounds yes, yes. Uh, advancements over the last few years. Yes. Yeah. It's, and um, real quickly, I wanted to add one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to have two of each headphone sample on the table. So one will be connected wirelessly Bluetooth. The other one will be connected hardwire. Oh, so you can idea. quickly switch between them and see what the compression of the bandwidth of Bluetooth is doing to the audio. Some Bluetooth can actually getting... recover the audio a little better than others. Sure so they do. It will be another uh, voting category of who does the best, I guess, decompression of Bluetooth. Yeah, it, it, that's a that's such a great subject because it, there's a lot of confusion around what Bluetooth yes. will and will not do. There's some marketing there that's designed yes. to, I mean, all I can say is it's just designed to fool you. But as I'm saying that, Bluetooth has gotten so much better it over really the has. last uh, couple yes. of years. I've, I've been listening to a, a few uh, Bluetooth headphones that I got honestly... And if I'm not in like my pristine uh, area, which this is the way you use these things anyway, right? Yeah. You're not typically using these things in the most awesome area. I mean, I'm just like on the river or on a plane or walking down the street or something, that's right? Great. It's like, that's how, but they used to really bother me. They don't bother me anymore. Good. They're just, they just, they just sound good. Does it sound better wired with more resolution? Absolutely. Yeah. But they just don't bother yeah. me anymore. Hey, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Perez, just, uh, Hey guys. And I was going to, I was going to tell you if you have, uh, if Mike is in the area at that time, he would be an excellent, uh, Very good. He would be an excellent judge. Mike runs a, uh, a website now or a review website now and it's it's fantastic the guy's just like so even kill and it's not like it's um it's not like it's uh you know you got to buy this brand or or he's real hard he's just really really um uh, presents a lot of great information i was just watching one yesterday but hi mike i'm glad you're here thanks for joining us get in touch with robert and uh and hop on this uh, panel i think you'd be a perfect person for it Please do. Um, Thank you. And a lot of people aren't, they, they haven't signed in under, under this uh, login. So they're just uses Facebook users. So I have no idea it is. Hi, Dave. Long time. No, see my friend. Yeah. I, it's been a long time. Of course, I have no idea who it is, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us anyway. Uh, so, Hey, let's get back into, uh, let's get back into some of the headphones that you're going to be sure um, that you're going to be, actually using here um some of these are like i say some of these are just out and i'm hoping i didn't get the last year model of any of these but if if i have just you know correct me as we're going along sure. um but yeah. these are the actually this is one that i was supposed to change i believe yeah. right um yeah okay so this one is going to be changed to the mx4 and i think yes. i've actually got a uh, picture of it in a little while yes. but they're not quite the same they don't even look the same they're about 279 is that right 279 retail yeah and then we're going to be uh doing he's going to be doing the the bowers and wilkins uh pi5 that's for right. 199 dollars. that's right yes be doing the Bose Quiet yes. Comfort for 199. Bose is, yeah. you know, guys. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of people make fun of this company, uh, but uh, when it comes to technology like this, Bose is is quite good. Um, as we're talking through some of these these headphones, let's talk about um, some of your methodology that you're that mm -hmm. you're going to be uh, judging these hand these headphones with tell us a little bit about that robert well other than we're going to have two headphones of each brand one connected bluetooth one and so you can quickly switch between them and see what the differences are with wireless versus hardwired we're going to be very carefully evaluating dynamic tonal range the full tonal range we're going to be listening for deep rich bass who can do the bass? Who could do the treble and the high tones fat better? We're going to be evaluating clarity and detail in the audio performance. And we're going to be reviewing the comfort and the ease of use because comfort is an important element when you're buying headphones. 
So those are the three primary categories in addition to the variation of who can, who can do Bluetooth better, who can recover the audio performance that you hear with a hard wire. Because some actually can do better job with Bluetooth than others. Yeah, yeah. I've got a set of the new Bowers and Wilkins PX8s on order. They should be here tomorrow, actually. Those are world class. That is so fun. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I, I wanted to do something that was, um, that was really, really good on wired because that's yes. really primarily how I listen uh, sure. in the studio when I'm playing my drums, when I'm, when I'm really wanting to get the most set of things. I'm, I'll just go ahead and, geek out and use my dragonfly and and wire things up but like on the run in in a plane honestly i just mm -hmm. don't even care I, so i'm really looking forward to just getting a really good bluetooth set because most of the ones i've played with before they're okay uh but i'm 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 hearing that the ones that i've got on order are just amazing yes, um, i heard a pair about Oh gosh, three, four months ago, the new Mark Le Mark Levinson's got a new pair out, 5909s. They're not cheap. They're like a thousand bucks. But man, yeah. I was going, I, I jerked the things off my head. I'm going, these are, this is Bluetooth. That's great. It's, it's Bluetooth. Yeah, things are just really, uh, really coming up. You had also mentioned that you're going to be um, with the headphones that, that cover this because another thing that's just wildly um, different in these headphones from a performance standpoint is the, uh, the noise canceling. Oh, thank you so, for bringing that up. Yes. So I think that's, that was going to be one of the parameters you guys were going to yes. use as well as, you know, Apple, I think, uh, um, first, um, first release this in their AirPod pros. I think they are, by the way, that might be something you want to add because there are so many people yes. that are actually using those. Yes, I think we are um, going to add them. We're just going to buy them on Amazon or something because we don't sell them, but they belong in the event because it's very popular right now. They're, they're actually, you know, I'd, I'd be the first guy to go, I really don't want these things to sound that great, yeah. but they belong. You know what? They sound really, they're yes. a little bass heavy, but they really sound d decent. You know, a lot better than the things that just hung off your ears, right? They do got a they do have a seal. Yes. Um, excuse me. I'm just, I, I just, I had pneumonia for like the last couple of weeks and I'm totally uh -huh. over it now, but I've still got a little bit of residual. I didn't want to cough in your, I didn't want to cough in your ears. So uh, pardon me for that. Uh, let's see. Yes, you are so welcome. We're, we're enjoy. I personally enjoy the doing these uh, uh, quite a bit. So thanks for, Thanks for uh, saying that. Um, so, yeah, let's go back to some of the other. Oh, but w I know what I was going to say before I had to mute myself and cough. Uh, the transparency mode that, that mm -hmm. Apple, um, I mm -hmm. think it was Apple that introduced it. That's a really, really great feature. And some of the new headphones, some of the new Bluetooth headphones have got transparency mode. If you haven't, if you don't know what that is, folks, um, the next time you look for a set of Bluetooth headphones, if you are ever out and about with your Bluetooth headphones, like walking along the street or riding a bike or something like that, get I would suggest at least getting some with, with a transparency mode so that you can hear what's going around you while right. you're listening to music. It's awful dangerous riding a bike on yes. an open road or even walking. Like if you're walking into a, in a busy city, you walk in in New York City, you kind of want to have transparency mode because things happen around you that you need to be aware of. And some of these transparency, in fact, all of the transparency modes that I've listened to in the Bluetooth headphones are way, way different. Some are pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are lousy. I personally haven't heard any that are like over the top at this point on that transparency part of it, but they're 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 going to get better at this right they they are getting better at it already so that was another mm -hmm. thing that um that uh, robert and i were talking about before the show um mm -hmm. those all sound like great uh parameters and procedures that you Thank guys you. are all going to be using and i guess everybody will be judging on the same thing so let's uh talk a little more about some of the yeah. headphones you're bringing in technics is coming back yes. into audio in a big way they sure are I'm a big Techniques fan, 
and I love their turntables and their SACD players. They are a premium company owned by Panasonic, and they're just interested in luxury premium products, regardless of the even low prices that some of their categories reach. So you always get a great price performance with Technique's brand. So that brings me to my thinking about how I selected all these brands. I selected what I liked the best. And I only judged things on one thing, performance, audio quality. And these were my first choices in audio quality to put in a competition against each other. So I wanted to put my personal first choices in different price categories to compete against each other so I can learn more about which ones perform better than others. Yeah. Hey, yeah. listen, I, I appreciate the whole selfish part of this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> if I were doing it, I would do exactly the it same is. thing. I would, I would it want is. it. Darren, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for the, the, the comment, buddy. Yes. Um, yeah, so Technus is coming back actually next yes. week when we do the um, the uh, uh, Cal uh, the um, Capital Audio Fest in yes. Rockville, Maryland. It's just outside of DC. Uh, Technix is going to have their some of their new components, and I'm going to be mm -hmm. doing a flash DJ session in their uh, in their room. So I'm really looking forward to hearing um, hearing what they're bringing in. I've seen them for the last couple of times at like uh, Munich. Right. I'm seeing their big yes. stuff in Munich, but now they're finally bringing that to the United States. And um, and, and I'm, I am very excited. Mm -hmm. This is a company that, man, yeah. they hit the ground running with their headphones. I mean, I am just blown away with Focal and what they've been able to do with their yeah. with their headphones. Oops, sorry about that. Put yeah. that on mute. Um, yeah. So this is a great choice for. Thank uh, you. For a set of wired, I would really, I would really categorize these more in the IEM mm -hmm. realm than uh, than just headphones. But these are these are just Bluetooth, or are they Bluetooth and wired? Yeah, I no, think I'm asking. I think they're wired only. I believe wired only. I okay, should double check that, but that's what I believe. Well, you'll be getting them in, and you'll yes, you'll, that's you'll correct. have a report they, on them because you're going to be doing some other today, actually. And one of the things I'm really interested in that you're going to be doing are, you know, a couple of the Bose models I know. Um, and the, the difference between the $199 and $299 That's models right. are going to be, that should be pretty interesting, don't you think? Yes, indeed. Very and much. some of these you haven't even heard yet, right? No, I have not heard all of them, but most of them I have heard. Yes. And, and okay, great. Well, we'll be, we'll be waiting, waiting for the report. I think a lot of people will be interested in this because, you know, they're $199 buzz, $299. Or is that right. worth it? That people That's are going to be interested in things like this. These are, uh, these are, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, the Bowers and Wilkins stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're, they're going to be doing the, um, PI sevens for $400. And That's then right. Technics, this, I, I, I somehow didn't make the change. These are actually going to be the, 800s the t that's right that's correct um yeah I, I, for some reason that didn't make the change when i uh when i did the redid okay. the powerpoint but these yeah. are gonna be the 800s are they still around 350 yes that's correct i believe so yes they are three 349 yes yeah some of the companies as you can see in in this picture some of the companies like to show you what's going on in the inside right. that is a huge driver for a, yeah. for, a, for a headset. So I'm, yeah. I'm pretty interested on a, from a dynamic level, what these things are going to do. I'll bet they're, they're, they're flat out. Great. Another one that we, that is going away is the X M four, right. which is going to be replaced by the X M five. So the X M four won't be there, That's correct. but the new X M five will be there is uh, from Sony. And I was telling Robert um, just a little while ago, and these are kind of getting on up there. I must have had these for six or seven years now, but I've got a pair of the high-end Sony's. They're the um, the Z7s, MDR Z7s, yeah, with the Kimber cable magic. That's right. Hey, I, mean, I got to tell you, Sony, 
they are underrated as far as I'm concerned with headphones. Outside of the like the really big stuff, they're some of my absolute favorites. So this should be really interesting. And these are wired or Bluetooth, correct? That's correct. That is correct, yes. Most of the Bluetooth can also be wired. Not all, but I think all but one. You know. That's great, yeah. These are nice, too. These Ooh, are. Didn't mean to switch that so quickly. These are nice, too. The Bose 700s. I'm these sure are. they are. Yeah. In fact, their little Bluetooth speakers are are really quite good too for yeah. you know a real compact like little uh, hotel stay. Yes. I'm never in a hotel these days without a without a Bluetooth speaker. I just carry them everywhere I go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting those. And then th these are going to be these are last year's models of PX7. They're actually going to be doing the PX8, which we've got yeah, a, like we've got a slide of those in just a second. Yeah. But you guys are going to be doing some. These the company, are also world class. This is beautiful stuff. Yeah, man. They got to be. Uh, yeah. All of the Focal stuff that's come out in the last four or five years have yeah. been absolutely off and the hook. These are more designed for being at home because they're closed back. So you're not going to hear people outside talking to you. This is for very critical listening at home. This is the way I would describe it. Yeah, we'll have the um, yeah, we'll have the uh, the. I'm trying to think. I think it's the clear with mm -hmm. us next week at the uh, at the show. That'll be one of the uh, the headphones mm -hmm. that we're yeah. that we'll be showing. But yeah, we're we're just absolutely in love with them, and we're running these through a manly absolute headphone app. And I, have you ever heard that thing, Robert? No, I'm sorry, not. You I, should, I just wrote a note not, of it, though. You would not believe this thing. It is incredible. Uh, it's a tube-based... Um, it's really weird. It's a tube-based uh, headphone output section or headphone uh, amplifier yeah. with, uh, with a Bruno Putzi's um, power supply in it. So it's got, got this huge switching power supply in there. But when you start seeing manufacturers like Manly going to a switching power supply and telling us it's the best thing she's ever heard. You start knowing that, you know, times are a changing and things are, things are really, really um, uh, being improved on, on the digital side and the digital front end side. So at any rate, um, there we go. And then we've got the, this is, this would be the equivalent of what I've got. Yes, this is the newer model, yes. And are you guys going to be using all standard cables? Are you going to be using any upgraded cables or what? Uh, no, we're using all standard cables. If they're Bluetooth and they come with a cable, we're going to use the manufacturer's cable. There you go. That's a that's a good idea because that's what people have got. This yeah. is what I've got on order right now. i got mine in tan. Fantastic piece. Yeah, that some I'm very much looking forward to these. I was talking to Andy Kerr from Bowers and Wilkins just sure. yesterday uh, about these headphones, and he's going. I'm going. Well, you know, I heard the PX7. He's going. No, 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 no. We've <laughs> right redone these. These are gonna yeah. kill anything that we've ever done. So I'm that's going. Right. Well, that's great since I've got them on order. And then another company that makes great yeah. headphones that yes. you know that probably doesn't get nearly as much. Uh, credit for them as they uh as they deserve the the dead on headphones they 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 make great great headphones and look at the size of that driver would you yeah, <laughs> yeah. most people don't mo most people have drivers of you know a third that size in in their headphones so i'm sure they're going to be quite good and then the this is what we're using at the uh at the show the focal beautiful. clears beautiful so those will be just run straight off of, uh, tell me, you, you, you were telling me a little while ago about the rig that you're going to be running everything off of it. I thought That's it was right. quite brilliant. Um, what so you guys were doing. We have a brand new matrix switch from AV pro Meridio. This is a professional audio piece of equipment. So there's, it's not going to compress anything. It's a mm -hmm. matrix switch. It'll just pass the signal exactly as it gets it. And uh, th there'll be one device with a headphone amp, of course. And um, this is, we're doing everything at the very highest level possible. We're setting this up like a science lab. 
like a government science lab. So we're going through extreme measures here to make sure that everybody is fairly treated on equal playing field with the best possible performance capabilities. And then, so what's going to be, I know you're using Cobus as the source. Thank yes, you. Yes, we are. Thank uh, you. What's the, what's the streamer that you're going to be using? Uh, so um, we're probably going to use the Node uh, streaming device. Yeah. That's yeah, the that is a, such a great choice. I, I, I like the reason I like the choice is because it's uh, it's a great player, uh, yes. regardless. It, yes. it it actually can go into to high end systems very easily. Yes. Uh, but this thing's only like six hundred dollars. Yeah, so it's a real midline streamer. Yes. yes, thank you. I, I yeah, consider I mean, it in a premium class, although it's priced very fairly. It goes into high-end audio systems. Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely, all the time. Um, and it, I think it's a, a bit more fair and uh, equitable for people that use gear like that. I mean, a lot of people would maybe use a a, a bar talk or sure, sure. you know something like that, which is like twenty grand. I mean, you buy a car yeah. for what you buy a bar talk for, right? <laughs> But for six hundred bucks, that is a solid, solid contender. I've got one myself, um, and it's just it's ne it never goes down. It never gives me any trouble at all. It's just like one of these rock solid pieces. Yeah. So I'm glad that's a that's a really yes. that's a a good little front end setup that you've got. Uh, and then next, we've got the Sony the Z1Rs. These are their bad boys. I couldn't afford these. Yeah, but at eighteen hundred bucks, I man, what a beautiful set of headphones! I am dying to hear these, and I'm really, really looking forward to your no. to your commentary on them. Thank you. Have you listened to these yet, Robert? Yes, I have. I have. I've listened to most of them because I was selecting them as well. And I'm not going to ask you what your thoughts are really right now on them because I think that might be a spoiler. Well, these are very premium performance pieces here. You 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 hear the music so clearly. This, this is a premium piece. I mean, it's expensive, but uh, this this is well worth the investment because just think of it. Every time you use it, you're going to love it every single time. So yeah. you're going to own this for a decade, and you're going to love it every time you put it on. So to me, you know, being an enthusiast, it's worth eighteen hundred dollars to invest in something like that. They are, yeah. These are yeah, so these are uh, wired only. They these are only, only wired, wired, right? Right, yeah. So your these these are always full resolution, and this yes. is something that you would yes. really buy for uh, typically a home situation. Um, if they're they're a little cumbersome to to carry with you yeah. on the road, but yeah. you know it, it, what a great. I would do it anyway because I, yeah. I carry my Sony's a lot, and they're not that they're they're not that easy to to get around with because they don't kind of fold up into this neat little thing. They're just big, and mm -hmm. you know you just deal with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. The smallest thing on that rig is my Dragonfly, and then and then your big pair of Denons. I've never I don't think I've yeah. ever heard the really big yeah. Denon. They have a real premium form fit and design. And uh, of course, the performance, the audio performance is also excellent. So we tested all of these to make sure that they're worthy to be in this high-end competition. This is and nice. these are the ones that you said these are going to be going away, I think. Uh, no, it's the high-end Sony ones. That the Sony's is going to be. So current. Yeah. Anybody got any suggestions? I've got, I've got a few myself, but um, this category may go away. Yeah. I, I need more, like, I need more in ear in the, you know, 1200 to $2,000 range. Yeah. And I'm, I was kind of thinking you're alive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a huge category. I mean, even up to, you know, four grand or so. I mean, the yes. in ear monitors have, uh, yes have really come a long way. Uh, but I'm thinking like JH audio, if you've got any yep. suggestions That's of some a good one. really high end, um, uh, um, in your mon in your monitors, uh, yes. that you would like to see in this, uh, you know, throw it down to the bottom or yep, get in touch with do. Robert later on. And, and, and maybe they can add these in. If not, this whole category will probably just get dropped and they'll, they'll yes. just stick with the major stuff that they've got right 
that's that's correct, right? Yes, that is correct. But I don't want to drop it. So hopefully your your viewers will rec make some recommendations as well as J J H Audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow, this is this is going to be quite an exciting, uh, quite an exciting. Um, uh, a show that you guys are going to be doing here or not. It's not really show. It's, it's a uh, yeah. the shootout, just like you yeah. say. Yeah. And I would like to thank um, dealer scope. Dealer scope yes. is yes. actually a huge sponsor with this. In fact, when I first started yes. talking with Tony, I thought this was dealer scopes gig and it's not, this is value electronics yes. And dealer scope thinks so much of the yes. um, the video shootouts that Robert does That's right. that they decided, hey, let's let's go all okay. in and 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 do this uh, this headphone shootout. This is the first one that they're doing, so I'm I'm wishing you guys all kinds of luck. Thank you very much, and we're very thankful to Dealer Scope for partnering as well, because they've made the event a much bigger, much more exposure. They have a huge budget that they put into this. We're renting a gorgeous, world-class luxury building where we have this beautiful private room that's huge with tables set up for the headphones to be properly displayed. It's got a beautiful restaurant bar. We'll be serving food and cocktails and coffee and drinks. And it's a real premium. It's directly across the street from Grand Central Station in Midtown, New York City. And uh, it'll be webcast worldwide on the internet uh, through a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is uh, Shane Lee. So it's youtube.com forward slash Shane Lee. And he will be uh, one of the judges as well, but he will be webcasting it worldwide live. Shane Lee, S-H-A-N-E? Yes. So youtube.com forward slash Shane Lee. He's a serious audio and video YouTube specialty, kind of, I call him a celebrity. I just put the... Um... I just put this up in the comments. Thank you. That's great. You. That's, that's correct. You did it perfectly. Shane Lee. Uh, and let's see, I guess the last thing that, that at least that I have, and then we'll certainly uh, go over anything that, 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 that we missed, but um, uh, Robert's going to be using one of my playlists that I put together. Oh yeah. Um, if you haven't seen it, I didn't, I didn't grab the link before we started. I probably should have done yes. that, but if you haven't seen it, it's called show stoppers. Yes. And if you just search Cobus uh, show stoppers and then hit playlist, you'll, you'll see it, but it's, it's a, uh, it's a really good playlist. I'll be using that uh, next week uh, when I do the flash DJ sessions at, um, at capital audio fest too. Good. Thank so, you. Very well, what have we left out? What do we need to talk about that we that we haven't spoken about? Well, let's see. What have we left out? Leanne, do you have anything to add here? I always confer with my partner here. That's a good idea. <laughs> but I think you've been pretty thorough here covering the intent, what we're trying to do here. And it's not just to find a winner. It's to find a winner that's best for each individual use case. What style of headphone, what price category are you most interested in? It's not just who makes the best headphone. Who makes the best headphone for your particular use case? And you can use our voting ballots, the summary of all the judges' voting ballots, to pick the best headphone that matches your needs and use. If it's comfort, if it's dynamic range, if it's clarity, if it's type of headphone or a price range, you just look at the items that match your interest and then you select the best one from that list. So you can still use our matrix, our voting pattern matrix of the results to find out what's your best headphone. That's, that's, uh, you, you can't beat that. I mean, that's as, that's as good as it gets. Thank you so much. I, we appreciated it. This seems like a super honest event to me. And, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to doing the live stream. Uh, I, I wish I could actually be there. It's going to be on the 12th yes. and that's the same weekend that I'm going to be in DC doing. I the, know. Uh, I'm sorry. We that same date. The However, biggest... if yeah. you're going to be in, uh, Maryland, 
uh, next weekend. Stop by and see us yeah. at the Capital Audio Fest. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've actually got, um, do you know the guys from a render? I do. Yes. Great punt bunch of folks. I mean, yes. these guys are just about as serious about streaming as, as you could possibly yes. get. Well, their their uh, national uh, VP of uh, BizDev, Ari Margolis, is going to be uh, joining us there. He's actually going to be working the CoBus booth. We're not even working it. We're just going. Let's oh, just let somebody nice. else do this. Good. That everybody lo everybody loves Ari anyway, and he's got this playlist that will just totally blow you away. So Ari from Arender is going to be working our booth Very and we're nice. with them at at uh, at Capital Audio Fest. So I uh, hope to see a whole bunch of you. Uh, hope yeah. to see a whole bunch of you guys there, um, Robert. Thank you so much for taking and your time. Thank, to, and above all, the most important th shout out I want to make is a big thank you to David Solomon and to CoBuzz for providing this exceptionally great streaming service, which we would use no other. So thank you so much for being a sponsor and providing your streaming service, which is critical to this event's success. So again, Big shout out to Cobuzz. Thank you. Thanks so much, Robert. We really thank appreciate you. it. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I really want to start up more of these uh, in, in, in the in the future. Uh, we we really got away from them, and and they're 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 a lot of fun to do. They just take a lot of time to produce. Well. Dan and I just got word uh, about two weeks ago that we're going to now be responsible for uh, not only the U.S., uh, but the U.K., the Scandinavian countries, um, Australia, New Zealand, uh, U.K., Ireland. Uh, so it's it's we're, we're, we're about to take a huge, huge uh, dive to I guess we're. We're we're trying to raise to our level of of incompetence. So, <laughs> so, until then, we'll just keep going. But the the plan is to to do more of these. And and Robert, thank you again so much for for thank joining. You. Uh, hang you. out for just a minute when the broadcast ends, and okay. um, and we'll we'll debrief. But everyone, thanks so much for joining us, yes. and keep listening, and have a great week. Take care. Thank you. All the best.